Hi, my name is Vikas and uh, I am proud to be a Kafir. This is a message for everyone across the globe. This is a high time to unite together and stand against terrorism. If you think it's not your problem, I agree. It might be not your problem, but in that case, you're not supposed to be a father, a mother, and not supposed to reproduce. Because maybe not today, but tomorrow, it will be a problem for your kids. If you think about our past, about our history, just read it once. We have changed a lot. We are not living in the world of, uh, I will say, the swords. But still, we need to unite together and we need to stand together against terrorism. If we don't do it today, maybe the generation we are reproducing won't get a chance to do that. It's not that much difficult to fight against terrorism. I'm, I'm not asking you to pick up a sword and kill someone or pick up a like or shoot someone. No, you, you don't need to kill anyone. All you need to do is just let them know who they are. And there is a revolution in the Middle East. Even the people from the same religion, they are standing against the principles of that religion. The women. They are against the hijab. They, do, they don't want to be, wear the hijab. So there is a very thin line. And trust me, if we don't do anything today, I, I won't say we, because I'm going to fight against it. I, I know myself. And I know thousands, hundreds and thousands of the people, those who are fighting against it. And they'll keep fighting. I'll do the same. And that's the only reason. They are still in control. But population is one of the biggest challenge. Not for my nation, not for Bharat. Population is one of the biggest challenge across the globe. I will request United States, United Kingdom, to check the population of their children under the age of 15 you will you will come to know what's the difference and just may just, just differentiate it in the terms of religion they follow they teach their kids to kill to brutally kill an animal Do you, do you teach your children? Do, do you teach it? I understand. Non-vegetarian, I understand. But we don't just kill an animal brutally. And we don't enjoy it. Either, I'm, I'm, I'm sure maybe uh, you won't agree with me. It's okay. I will say... Uh, Maybe not today. But this is an era of transformation. We are living in the world of technology. Things are changing. Stand against terrorism. Stand against jihad. Uh, okay. When people say uh, every... Uh, Muslim is not uh, a terrorist. Okay, I agree with them. I'm going to accept you. But uh, around the globe, anyone or everyone who is listening to this particular message, just tell me one thing. The nation where you are, you, you are born, your nationality, is there any reason you stand against that?
that nation which gave you everything did you fight against that particular nation to destroy like let's say you born in united states in chicago uh, or maybe in london israel a anywhere do you think you will try to destroy that particular nation no you won't and if your answer is yes then you are a jihadi but there is a particular community who believe that anyone everyone who is not in there who is not a a, a muslim is a kafir and i'm proud to be a kafir and i just want to tell you one thing your forefathers they tried but they were not able to destroy us you are trying you will not be able to destroy us but let me tell you one thing today in this world of technology in this world of uh, transformation we are capable enough to destroy you we have to be united together it's not a choice it's a necessity if we don't do it together our coming generations will suffer earth for me is a mother earth my my nation is my mother we have some responsibilities we 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 talk about our rights every individual has its own right but at the same time the rights comes with our duty as a karma you are not supposed to ignore your karma because if you do it today it will find you at hunt you tomorrow i'm sure you might have uh, heard about uh, the name of mohandas karamchand gandhi he was from uh, bharat people say uh, we got independence because of him i don't agree with that for me it's uh, subhash chandra bose for me it's a uh, chandrasekhar azad for me it's a uh, bhagat singh east india company then didn't, didn't want uh, want to leave the nation but they did it's not because of gandhi we are independent it's because of netaji we are independent today as a one world we have a lot a lot of challenges coming and we need we must stand together the challenges in terms of environment we all know about the global warming we all are aware we are educated we are using a phone if you are listening to this particular message you are using a smartphone environment we need to protect it pollution food nutrition terrorism if you think of why or how will it matter to me like to any individual So let me tell you today Russia is screwing Ukraine and the whole world can't stop Russia I am a Bharatiya and the day we decide the day we lose our patience 
Good day. We start a revolution against terrorism. We are killing them. We are killing terrorists on daily basis. We are killing them every day. But it's not only about the terrorism who like the people with our AK-47. They are not only terrorists. This particular community, they are in uh, they are doctors, lawyers, engineers. And for Bharat, uh, it's even more, uh, I will say, it was misfortune. Sorry. A vice president of Bharat, Hamid Ansari. People call uh, Bharat like they sometimes don't feel safe. Hamid Ansari, he was the vice president of our nation for 10 years. And do you know what he did? Just listen to uh, some of his interviews. His nationality is Indian. He was the vice president of India. And he wanted to destroy India. Just think about it once. Sometimes I feel like why am I living in the in 21st century? Why am I not in uh, 14th or 15th century? Because then I might have screwed them up. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a, maybe I'm a reborn. But I'm not, a, I'm not against and I don't support the violence. But yes, self-defense is a human right. To fight for yourself is your right. Let's say, uh, okay, let me give you an example. Let's say, if government announces that there will be a lockdown for uh, 15 days, what will you do? You will rush out to the near stores, the malls and you will try to pick up everything. And if they are saying the lockdown will be for 15 days, you will make a backup at least for 2 to 3 months. You will do that? Ask yourself and the answer is yes. Why are you doing it? Because you want to live, because you want to protect yourself, because you don't want to go out during the time of that particular lockdown. You just want to be secure. Now, people who call you kafir, they are saying that once we have the majority, majority in terms of the population, we will bring the coward kafirs to their knees. And bring the glory of Islam back. Islam, is it a terrorist? Islam is, is Islam a synonym for terrorism? Because there are people, those who from the same religion, but they don't support it. So how to differentiate? But we need, we have to differentiate. And we can do it when we stand together. Until unless we won't be able to. It's a humble request. If you are listening to message, just give me a thumbs up. At least I'll know that we are together. Jai Hind, Jai Mahabharati.